ready for you. Let's begin. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Kovac. And today I'm going to talk about student involvement with Elon diving. Now, I'm going to be taking a student perspective on this problem rather than looking at it from the school's perspective. Now, before I get started, I want to talk about my own experience with Elon diving. So, growing up, I was not the most selective of eaters. I was pretty picky growing up. Not to say, like, I, I'm, I'm that now, but I'm not going to get that list out of my own like, choice. So when I came to Elon, I was not, I was understandably not pleased with the dining selection. If you, if you went, to, if you're not a freshman, you knew that McEwen was a dining hall that also had a salad bar. Every single dining hall in Elon has a salad bar. And that's an unappealed to me at in the slightest. Also, my sister went to UNCG, which has a pretty decent dining plan, also reliable restaurants, more brand name recognition. And also, they have a consistent menu, which is something that Elon does not have. If you notice, they kind of have a kind of a uh, rotating carousel of items that come in and out of varying, of varying quality. So, needless to say, I was very disappointed with this, and as someone who is understandably a little bit underweight, I kind of needed, to, I did not gain the freshman 15, which honestly I was a bit disappointed with. So, that's kind of where my problems have stemmed. So today, we're, um, I'll talk about main concerns with Elon Dining, why students should be aware of it, and how students can influence the change. So really, it's, I was trying to be quick with this, but because it's really right at this point. So first of all, the dining plan issue. Dining halls have very little variety, and when they do, it's just so out of left field. Like, you have a non gluten free station, and then you have a mixture of like vegetables or tofu or stuff like that, and, and that's just at Lakeside. At Cloven Hall, you have a deli shop in, in Cloven Hall, which by the way, the divorce had deli below that, so there's two sandwich shops right above each other, and then you have a falafel every single day at, at Cloven Hall. I mean, that's a bit unfair. So, meal plans also are very expensive. So, if you, how many of you are undergrads, freshmen and sophomores? How many of you have meal plans? Should be the same hands, yes. It's required for freshmen and sophomores. Now, I assume they do this because they don't think you can like drive off campus and get your own food, but the bio, but this, I, it's gotten to the point where I would have to take the bio bus to go to McDonald's, right? Just to like at least get something at that point. Because I'm not saying like I'm just protesting the entire dining hall, but the dining hall options are very the hours are very weird that I was discussing in the earlier presentation. And, like, I'll get out of like my 140 class and 320 and nothing will be open. And even if it is, then you have to use the meal slide for it, which those come in very small detail. And undergrads are forced to buy these meal plans, which they might not even use all the way. You're gonna spend seven thousand dollars on something you might not even need. I don't even think that you get a domino like I get a dominoes a lot when I'm a freshman. I had a, a many amount of reward points when I was when I was a freshman. And my issue is I did not even come close to spending six thousand dollars when it came to eating out. If it, when I was a freshman, if you had told me to eat ramen one more time, I would have been infuriated with you. I because I lived in I lived in Sloan dorm and I had all access basic because I didn't know because I assumed that was like the basic thing to do. But essentially, um, that was not a great plan. So and there's a little variety from my campus friends. If you have. Freshy Garden, which is open, why and Topio's, which is open to 1 a.m. for some reason, while this could go close to that, like six. And then you have Acorn, which is also a, de a, shop, a deli shop, which is four heads right there as well. But also, there's just no, there's not a lot of variety right now. Also, why is Pandora's not on the uh, meal plan? I think that's an important thing to talk about as well. <coughs> They're still fish affiliated with Elon. Anyway. Why should you be concerned? I, I think I've gone into detail a little bit of why, but um, there's a very, there's a camp, there's a school very near, there's so much close by, High Point University, and they have around the same tuition as Elon, maybe a little bit lower, but they're ranked 19th in the nation for on campus food. And for a competitor of us, and we're not even, I mean, we're not in the bottom, we're also not near, we're not nowhere near the top. I think that's a bit um, that's a bit unfair to students to go here and spend that extra money to go to a school like Elon. And 
like I mentioned earlier, since underclassmen are fresh, are forced to buy into these meal plans, upperclassmen don't need to. They don't provide feedback on the meal plan, forcing a hearsay, their say, like, oh, the upperclassmen don't care about this, so why should we focus on the underclassmen? The feedback isn't going through. So basically, this is a call out to the underclassmen while you're still underclassmen. Say, hey, we're not satisfied with the eating conditions here at Elon. How many of you are actually satisfied with Elon? I'm actually curious about this. How many of you enjoy eating on campus? Yeah, but shouldn't it be like something you can go to in a pinch, something that you can study for? I guess that's it. So, what I would suggest, I want to do look at student-oriented solutions. So implement. So basically, we should implement more affordable, yet a little bit more restricted, but like basically kind of combine all apps with basic and block in a way that it's a bit cheaper, a little bit more restricted, but a, a way for undergrads to be able to eat and not have to worry about, oh, I need to use a guest light or I need to use my meal dollar. Give juniors and seniors more incentive to provide feedback and eat on campus. Like, if they say, hey, can you fill out the survey, you get $20 in gaming cash. I think that's fair. And I think that would honestly help juniors and seniors be more incentivized to eat on campus and provide feedback and potentially get more students to come in. Because a lot of students are like, hey, wait, coming in in fall, right? But a lot of a lot of us are going to be juniors and seniors at that point without meal plans, so we'll have to like buy out of pocket. So find a way to implement. Okay, find a way. To I'm not sure what they're doing with payway, how they're going to implement them into the meal plan, but I think it could be very interesting to see what they do. That'll determine how they're going to implement their campus. And lastly, lastly, make each dining hall specialize in a certain thing. So there shouldn't be three salad bars, right? That's ridiculous. So McEwen can specialize in maybe. Kind of quick bites, something you can grab on the go because you know communication students are going to eat very quickly. Clone all can be a bit more um, um, proper and a bit more sit down and eat because you know it's a business school. In Lakeside, you can maybe be a mix of the two. You can have a bit of international, have a salad bar, have something for everyone. Because Lakeside is right in the middle of campus, and I think it should be able to implement these changes. Have each not if you're going to maintain consistency with dining halls. Please have them be consistent in providing a good menu for everyone. Because if you look at a campus like Duke, who has a great cafeteria, I mean, granted, Elon's not as I as Duke, but I feel like Duke does a great thing when they have consistent, they have restaurants, but also like a dining hall. It's just kind of a mixture of both. So, all in, in conclusion, I feel like Elon needs to focus on maintaining consistent identity with his food and also appealing to everyone with his food. So, thank you. I will do taking questions. here and our, our question should be about the presentation. Yes. So let's give you the opportunity to uh, answer another question. Anybody have a question about 
the options, the student-oriented solutions. Okay. Thank you so much, Jeff. <laughs> Okay, um, let's check our time. It's, we have about 10 minutes left, so we probably have time just for one presentation. So, Henry or, um, did Henry go over? Yeah, Henry went over. Goodness gracious, I must have my schedule wrong. All right, um, we do have time for you guys, Marina and Mallory. I just wanted to make sure we had time for everybody and you weren't going to get cut off. So feel free to log in there and we're good to go. Make sure you do your own. Okay. Yeah. And I will shut this.